Hey fragrance family, I'm Daver and I'm a fragrance bro coming at you with a wardrobe change. Kids are asleep for their naps and it is time to review. <laughs> God. Today is day nine of Rose Month and today we have Rose Anonyme by Atelier Cologne. Now Atelier Cologne is a very interesting house. Um, it, it makes fragrances that are interpretations, kind of reinterpreting the cologne genre or eau de cologne. And so they make they make fragrances with EDT and EDP concentrations and um, they take a citrus framework and they add really interesting twists to the boring old eau de cologne. This was always on my list for Rose Month because I knew what I would get was I would definitely get uh, a fresh scent both literally and figuratively and that's exactly what I got. There is definitely it's definitely rose uh, there's no hiding that in this and it's definitely fresh now this is one of the few Oud Rose combos that I allowed in Rose Month, uh, partly because I didn't want to repeat uh, Oud Vember. I know Jeremy was just just <laughs> just completely tired of the Oud Rose combo then, and I didn't want to repeat that either. And I think um, you know I think there's more to Rose than Oud Rose, uh, but here I definitely wanted to do it just because I knew that this was going to not be the typical Oud Rose combination. There is Oud in this, and you can smell it just a there's just a pinch of Oud in there. I don't think it's very overwhelming and over you know it doesn't overpower uh, the blend. I wouldn't necessarily call this an Oud Rose combination, even though there is both of those notes in there. Um, I do get some Apopanax in there, and there's a citrusy vibe coming from somewhere but I can't place it. And there's almost like a chocolatey note in this too. Um, and I think that is coming from the patchouli because there is patchouli in this and I, I could definitely smell that too. There's something very familiar about this and I can't really place it. Um, it might just be one of those familiar face uh, type of things where you get into a situation, maybe it's a person, you know, it's a very familiar person but you can't place it. Um, I think that might be this with this, this scent. It smells like something I've tried before, I just can't remember it. Performance was really good. I got a uh, really good performance. I thought I was going to get a little less because typically with uh, Tillier colognes, with me anyway, I get kind of on the uh, poorer side. Um, but this one was a lot better. I think it's because it's a, I think they call it a cologne absolute or something like that. I'm not exactly sure what the concentration is, but it's higher than their normal line. My wife didn't like this at all. There was something about it that perplexed her, and that actually uh, is surprising to me because I thought that she would like this because it's on the fresher side, it's on the a little cleaner side, um, but she didn't like it at all. Overall, I like it. Um, I think there's one criticism that I do have about this and that it smells a little bit like um, like a cleaner in a way. There's like a, there's like a cleaner note in there that I don't really care for, and it smells... It's, it smells a little bit like a body spray that you'll get from the mall. And I don't really care for that. There's some people out there that will disagree, I'm sure. Uh, but there's something about this that just smells mallish. <laughs> if that's the word. <laughs> this fragrance is sweet, it's light, it's fresh. And especially the dry down comes off uh, kind of airy. And I really like that about this. And like all Atelier colognes, um, the composition is very skillful, thoughtful, and very well balanced, and I really, I really like that a lot. I think there's something in this for someone. I just don't think that's me. I do think this is a little bit on the feminine side again, so this is just another one that I just can't wear. But overall, I really like this. Um, it's just not something that I can really wear. My wife doesn't really like it, so it's not something I'm going to buy. Um, but I think there are some people out there that will really like it. Atelier Cologne is very competitive with their prices. They have some really great value uh, for their fragrances. And I think you can find some, some samples of these somewhere. I think, I think you really need to go out and try it, especially go out and try their line. They have, a really, um, they have a real nice breadth of their line, so there's something in there that I think you'll like. You can definitely find splits, and I think you can find samples on their website. So go out there and try it. Um, uh, I think a lot of people will like this fragrance, just not for me. I'll see you tomorrow.